Adventures. Hi. Welcome back. It's episode six of A, a Very Adventure Vodcast. Um, it is season four, episode five of the Venture Brothers, mm -hmm. uh, The Revenge Society. And it was revenge <laughs> Wow, best review ever. Oh my gosh. And we're out. <laughs> um, Done. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was full of crazy. We got a lot of answers and some revealing and exciting revealingness. Revealing, <laughs> well, mostly. We're on, we're on a roll. Yeah, okay. we are. We're being very descriptive. Um, so let's just Clearly. say that, first of all, we can just agree that thus ends the content uh, of the teaser reel. Yeah, I'm, we. I think we've seen it all now. Doc from the future is actually David Bowie. We see that David was... Bowie again. We see the Sergeant Hatred, Billy Sitch. Waking up with Billy the Quiz Boy. Um... I, I think we've seen it all. Seen There's that. also the part, oh, the teaser for next week was the last piece that I hadn't seen in the teaser role for this season. What was it? The one where he, where um, Dr. Venture runs out on the roof. That was it? I'm pretty sure. falls off the roof, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay, well. Then it but, I mean, we've seen it, because okay. it's in the teaser for next week. So. All righty. Well, we also got to see... Uh, couple members from the Council of Thirteen, which is exciting, because I was pretty much convinced that they were just, like, a bunch of, like, old cartoon characters, like, meshed together on top of each other, like, as silhouettes. Like, I thought one for sure was Bugs Bunny, like, on top of somebody else. <laughs> like, it's, like, the cheeks or whatever, yeah. but apparently they're actual characters. And uh, we got to see two of them, and then we got to see two of them stitched together. It was a little a mashup, if you will. For happenstance, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so, Ferris and Lim is back, and he is Crackers. Also, super ugly. <laughs> yeah, not, I mean, I thought that there was much more of like a Sean Connery refined gentleman kind of thing going on there. Mm -mm, nope, not at all. He's just crazy. He's batshit crazy. And he's older than I thought he was. He's getting old in his old age. It makes me wonder what the monarch looks like without his little, like, black. I don't with think the about thing. that. Do you think he's bald? I like to think of him as having <laughs> billowy, billowy red hair. Oh, ew. <laughs> Not a good look. Or, like, a giant fro <laughs> underneath there. Curly fro. What if it's, like, his, what his eyebrows are like? Like, pew! <laughs> <laughs> yes. anyway, he wasn't even in this episode. But that's okay. Yeah, you're right. Also, he is, uh, Phantom Limb is Bananas. crazy as poop. And Pretty much. We know this because, <laughs> <laughs> well, he reveals the Revenge Society, which I have to admit, when he said, and now I present to you the Revenge Society, I was really excited. I was like, holy crap. We get to meet this whole new cast of characters. And it sounded so B.A. I was totally into it. And then he pulls out a mug, <laughs> Wisdom, a toaster, the techie one, and Lady Nightshade. Who is a pump who belongs to Dr. Wife. Also, she is spoken for, so don't get any ideas. She is spoken for. <laughs> and then they, and I love the like three second clip of her rooting around in the yeah. closet. Honey. But I have you seen my palm? I love that we all realize at the same time, like, oh, he's, he's bananas. Insane. Yeah. But it was so good because you realize it with the characters, and they're like, oh my god, get me out of here. Oh, and also Billy got uh, some action in this episode. Ooh, more than it kid. It's not where I was going uh, with that. But what I meant was he was in he slip. was in the episode quite a bit, and mostly in a sack. Mostly, yeah. And, um... Also, he gave up the Ventures way too oh quickly. Oh, my God. They weren't even torturing him. No. He was like, oh, yeah, the Orbit's at the Venture Conference. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. What was... He, he just volunteered I that mean, information. It was almost like he was being helpful, like he was being quizzed or something, and he was like, oh, it's at the Venture Compound. And there was no... I, they didn't even have to prod him gently. <laughs> so... They just like, what? Venture Compound! <laughs> I'm still not quite sure why the sewing of the members together helped... I'm not sure where he was going with that either, but remember, he is bananas. That's true. So, I think I've said bananas a lot so far. <laughs> okay. I need to use a different word. Crackers. <laughs> a different food crackers. to describe craziness. And so, another thing about the orb that we got to find out. Find out. Um, by the way, Doc Hammer's so in love with the orb that it's ridiculous. <laughs> the orb. I mean, goodness gracious. 
I know way more about the orb than I ever need to know about the orb. I feel like it's just like they like to harp on things. I am. Like orbs. It's so good though. Um, but we find out that the old bodyguard um, in uh, back in the day with great great grandpa Venture right. didn't actually kill him. No, he cracked the orb open. And he like destroyed Which, it, the doomsday device. Yeah. Did he destroy so, it? I thought he broke it. He broke it. Yeah. It looks like they had glued it back together. <laughs> a little unclear and I think it was just meant that it wasn't powerful anymore maybe I could be completely incorrect on this or they're just not using it right I'm not doing my I had to do my homework on the orb unfortunately <laughs> however <laughs> please uh, correct us or let us know if we what we don't know um also speaking of that guy Oh, yeah, that and, weird guy. And other things that we don't understand. Who was he? Was Let's that a, make a list. It was either a David Bowie reference or he was one of the guild. I think he's one of the guild. Well, when I first saw him, I was like, is this David Bowie, like, shape-shifted mm -hmm. slightly, but in a bad disguise because he's not really even that much disguised? Yeah. So, obviously, another highlight of the episode is we got to see Watchin Ward again, who I really like. Oh, Watchin Ward, right. Yeah. Which... Watchin Ward are the two characters from the Guild of Calamitous Intent. Um, <laughs> so enunciated. Thank you. Calamitous Intent. Excellent. I feel like you're mocking me. No, I'm not. I'm a fan. Anyways. Um, one of them has a little bit of blonde hair. He's the cute one. Do you think he's watched? I mean, you totally... <laughs> <laughs> I totally know that you have a crush on him, because you're like, the one with the hair. <laughs> well, I was... He has, like, two streaks. And he was the one, I think, with, like, the bag of chips when, uh, the other one is giving Dr. Girlfriend, like, the tour. The tour, yeah. And trying to get her, like, to pick a new costume, because, um, her current situation wasn't working out. Um, and... Obviously, David Bowie returns and gives a little shout out uh, to what's her name? The supermodel. Oh, wife? Iman. Yeah, his supermodel wife in RL. Um, IRL. Iman Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, craziest name ever. <laughs> uh, which is super amazing. Um, and Sounds the, a little like Iman Bowie. <laughs> that might be where he went with that. I mean, there are a lot of questions about that whole relationship in general. There's a lot of questions about him in general. <laughs> um, and we got to see, or Dean actually only spent some time of the episode crying in the panic room instead of the entire episode <laughs> crying in the panic room. So, I mean, that was an upgrade. Uh, he barfed on his speed suit. Yeah. And and him and Dr. Oh Venture had this cute heart to uh, heart. About barfing on his speed suit and how they're made of polyester and, and wet nap them off. Oh. And I love how he was like the lemony goodness. I'm like, I love how wet naps smell like lemon. It was such a moment. They're sitting right next, next to each other. You're thinking they look just alike. Oh my gosh, I know. But we also saw um, Dr. No, I'm sorry. We saw Dean having kind of a moment with, with hatred. And oh, yeah. he was talking with him and sort of being his sponsor, sort of. Like... No, well, that was... Oh, yeah, Dean. Oh, when he was locked in yeah. the bathroom. Yeah. They made the CBS joke. Yeah. I mean, it was just really... It's funny, because it actually... There was a... He had a few moments where he just wasn't this total wussy crying boy the whole episode. And he called him Uncle Hatred. I know. And it, it, and he's, like, helping him out emotionally and I know, talking like, about the stuff. I know. He was, like, he was kind of stuff. the rock in that scene. In that he was scene. like, Uncle Hatred, you get your stuff together, and you make a mental inventory. And he was like, I don't know what that is. But, <laughs> <And> you know... <laughs> Good memory. Uh, and he had kind of, uh, he kind of got up off the floor with Dr. Venter and they were like, let's, let's do it. Let's, yeah, let's go do something. So, and they actually kind of saved the day, whereas Hank and Hatred were running around looking for Playboys and ice cream cake for the rest of the episode, never to be seen again. Well, he, Hatred totally called Hank out and was like, are you sure you're just not leading me on a wild goose chase to get things that your dad won't let you <laughs> yeah. have? And he was like, we need to go back. <laughs> we should probably go back. Um, and so Dean, speaking of Dean, totally happens to be apparently the heir of the guild. Of all the people I, <laughs> that you would expect to be the heir of the guild, Dean is not on my list. Also, it was taken so well by Dean. I know. He's, I know. He was like, okay, I'm the heir. 
Now I give it to David Bowie. No, I'm going to knight David Bowie and just give it over. And it was like... <laughs> it was probably the smartest I've ever seen him. He, that's why he's the brainy one. I mean, clearly. Clearly. I mean, he just knew. He was like, this is what I have to do. You know, my great, great grand venture was usurped by Phantom Limbs, great, great granddaddy. And this is... I like how he's grand venture.